Hi guys, my name is Katie Braswell. I'm an independent artist nominated for the CCM Gospel section of the IMAs. And uh, this is my Q&A video. The moment that I learned that I was an IMA nominee, I actually thought that this was all a joke. I was scrolling on my um, Facebook music page and received an IM message saying congratulations you're an, a nominee and I remember thinking this is this is spam <laughs> and uh, I wrote the guy back and was like um, are you sure what is this he expressed to me that no this was real you received the email on April 9th and um, sure enough I went and checked my spam folder and there sat the congratulations letter um, I screamed for my husband so of course he was the first person I told and he and I both stood there and read the letter together um, uh, completely ecstatic that this was a real thing and that Louder, my single, had been nominated for an IMA. What does this nomination mean to me as an artist? Um, well, during this pandemic right now and this crisis that the, the world is in, um, to receive this nomination is truly a confidence booster um, to continue to write. And so to receive this nomination while I'm trying to navigate this season uh, definitely gave me the confidence to just keep going where I'm at, keep doing what I'm doing, and that um, I would see a harvest in it. If I were to describe my single in five words, um, I would simply say it's a redemption song of praise. I would say it's more liberating than challenging uh, to be creative. I put the pressure on myself, how much is too much, how far to go, when to, when to start, when to stop. Um, so I would say that being independent is creatively liberating. Um, the challenge comes when it when you're trying to advance, really. Um, if you don't know the right people, if you're not attached to the right, uh, the right name, that's where it becomes difficult and challenging to move and press forward. But when it comes to the creative process, um, I think it's liberating because I get to decide what songs to choose. I get to decide how to write and um, all of those things. In my opinion, what is the most underrated song or album of all time? I'm gonna say that I don't know when it comes to all of all time, but my opinion currently, um, I think Demi Lovato is underrated. She is a fantastic vocalist, vocalist as an artist. Um, Album-wise, right now Sean Foy put out an album about a year or two ago called Wild, and I don't think it gets near the credibility that it deserves. It is an outstanding live worship album, so I'd have to go with Wild by Sean Foy. 